Italian has one very simple rule about vowels. If a vowel is strong, carries the accent, the metric accent of the word, we need to know whether it's pronounced open or closed. And it's being open or closed depends on its derivation, on whether in Latin it used to be a long vowel or a short vowel, if it used to be a diphthong, uh, and so on. If, if a vowel is weak, not by chance, in, Itali in Italian we called weak syllabs and weak vowels within a word, not deboli, which would mean weak. We call them atone. Atone doesn't mean without an accent. It means without tone, without a sound. Okay? We call weak vowels soundless. Therefore, we close them. Italian finals are closed. Since 90% of Italian words are piane, which means that they carry the accent on the penultimate syllab, syllable. Pretty much all final E's and O's will be considered weak, will be weak and therefore closed. Piano forte. Piano forte. It's really more about making a natural diminuendo, a natural diminuendo on every final. Okay, piano, forte, piano. It has to be smudged away. If I say piano, forte, I am giving two accents to the same word. And that's bad. It's all a matter of chiaroscuro. Chiaroscuro, why do we call it in Italian? And I'm, I'm sure the technique, the, the, the visual technique was developed on the language because ultimately singing Italian will be a matter of chiaroscuro and of the dealing with this two sides of the language, with this giving space, giving way and, and, and taking away, giving way and taking away. Uh, a very good example is uh, Yusuf Feyradov, who was Andrea Chenier in the title role last night at the opening of La Scala season in Milan. He did an excellent job. Questo teatro e questo palcoscenico ha visto uh, i migliori cantanti, i migliori artisti nella storia della lirica. Eh, Responsabilità è tanta. He was a pretty good evidence that whenever, um, whenever a singer really masters the prosody of the language, he in fact masters the technique and vice versa. Because the technique of Italian bel canto was based on the language. One of the very purposes in putting up together the multi-headed monster that opera was, because opera was the plural of opus. was to promote the language. It was to lead the whole nation, especially when it, when it later uh, came to Verdi, the, the, the newborn Italy, to speak the same language. But even before, the, the plan was to promote the Florentine vulgar, the Tuscanian. This goes back to Dante, of course, because the banks were in Florence, so basically to uh, impose the language was to impose one's power. We all speak English to this day, so we know, we know how that works. And it's not necessarily a bad thing. Why were so many things born here? Because the language favors them. I don't think it's by chance that any amazing artistic and scientific progress uh, was done in that period of time right there. Guarda il profondo, e ai prati colmi di vita. 